What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are here with the uh, 2020 RSV4 1100 factory. We have another track day vlog today uh, and we are at the, it uh, looks like reasonably sunny, uh, bizarrely, Donington Park. So yeah, welcome back to another track day vlog, Donington Park today. Um, like I said, it looks like it's going to be fine until at least 12 o'clock. I appear to be a little bit cursed with this place, unfortunately. Every time I come here, like the last fucking four or five times I've been here, it's rained. Uh, and I've had maybe three or four dry sessions total in the last four or five times I've been here. So uh, I'm here today and tomorrow. No limits today and focused events tomorrow. So tomorrow looks like it's gonna be good all day. So I'm hoping to get some good footage. Probably split it into two or three vlogs. Um, see how we get on today. Weather forecast saying that it's gonna be all right until lunchtime. So hopefully we'll get a, a morning session in and uh, I can warm up. I'm meeting a few friends here tomorrow. Martin Thornley from uh, Winning Inter's YouTube channel's coming, so I'm gonna need to get warmed up so I can keep up with him. Um, so yeah, all being well, should be a good morning and uh, fingers crossed, you never know where the forecasts have been wrong before, but uh, I'll check in with you later. Fast lads are just about to come out now uh, for the first session. Track looks pretty much dry. There's a couple of famous faces here from the uh, usual Facebook groups. Matt Robbo Roberts from uh, Tie Down Buddy fame. Shout out to you, mate. <laughs> ben Varley from every single Facebook group in the world fame here on his V4R. Absolutely stunning bike, so uh, shout out to you as well, mate. Uh, and I'm sure there's a load of other people here that I know. Loads of people have come up and said hi, so uh, um, yeah, I'm in Inter's group, so I'll be out after this next one, so uh, I'll catch you with you after. Section sighting marks. I'll be here for a while, so I'll figure it out. Alright. Her gates are all looking dry. Remember, I've got race shift. I've been riding the new Catty for, uh, for a bit with normal shift.
problem with my guy. So we just had the first um, session, just basically just sighting laps. They're like two fast laps I think and then somebody on an old snotter of a CB500 broke down and for some reason, like completely offline, but for some reason that means that they had to red flag it like halfway through the session. We still had like nine minutes left, which is a bit um, disappointing but it is what it is. Uh, that being said, Clouds are looking reasonably friendly at the moment. Touch wood, so uh, we'll see how we get on. I'll check back in after the next session. Right, a second session done, another red flag. There's a lot of red flags uh, at the minute. Fast Group had three red flags in their session and they delayed our start of our session. So grand total really so far has been about, I don't know, maybe six fast laps, something like that. But, um, take you around here. So goal for the day really was to get into sort of mid to low 150s. And we did, uh, New 159, which was like the only real fast lap I got, so I'm happy with that. Got under two minutes in the first real go, um, so hopefully we can get to uh, low to mid 150s today. Uh, but I'll check back in later and uh, hopefully we'll get a full session.
absolutely. Right, first session done. Woo, tired. I got my first full session in then without any red flags or anything. I was riding really smooth and I exceeded what I thought I would. To be honest, we got a. Uh... Well, 151 best. So I was aiming for like mid 150s. But to be honest, I didn't feel out of control there. I got into a couple of dices. There was a couple of people who came past me pretty dangerous and I got the red mist. So I went back past them and then pushed a bit harder, but uh, I felt pretty smooth. 151, I'm happy with that. That's not too bad. If I can get under 150, that'd be a result today. But let's uh, not push it too hard. Weather's still staying good, by the way. It was forecast to be raining now, so uh, bonus. I'll check back in after the next one.
welcome back. Um, <clears throat> so I'm in the hotel room after the track day, and uh, it was a bit of an unfortunate end, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I feel pretty bad. So the weather's turned bad anyway, so I've came back early and we've ended the sessions. Uh, but I had a bit of an incident, and I think... No, I, I know, actually, it's my fault. No matter which way I look at it, I uh, I think I caused a, a collision. Um, and I feel really bad about it. Have a look at it and see what you think. I'm going to be careful here because I don't want to sound like I'm trying to talk my way out of being at fault. But I think what, what happened was, as I came out of the S's uh, to head down towards Melbourne Loop, I saw the guy in the blue ZX6R, and he was towards the middle issue of the track, and I saw the gap on the outside, um, and I went for it and committed to it. And then he sort of came in, but that's kind of sometimes what people do at that corner because it's a little bit of a kink, and I think I should have anticipated that. So I've hit him, or he's hit, turned into me because I was there, and he didn't. He wouldn't have known I was there. I mean, I, I closed in on him pretty quick, um, and he's gone down. Uh, I've been and spoke to him and said sorry and, and made sure he's okay. His bike's not okay. I feel pretty bad about that. His bike was really bad, so I'm really, really sorry about that if you're watching this, like genuinely. Um, I don't know what I could have done. I, I'm not a reckless rider. I hope people don't think that. I just I, I went for a gap and committed to it and just made a mistake. It's that simple. Um, I feel uh, unbelievably terrible about it. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to say. So um, I think I think I've just got to learn from it and move on. Uh, I'm back at Donington tomorrow, so it's just a case of be careful. Um, yeah, I think not the problem, but I think the reason is I was going pretty well um, to say it's the first time I've been there on a dry. I had a good dry few sessions for a year now. Uh, I was doing like low 150s, 151. I think I got 140s in me, actually, if I'd have had a clear track. And I was getting a bit excited, and I think, to be honest with you, I was on the cusp, on, on today anyway, I was on the cusp of really needing to be in the fast group because I was overtaking pretty much everybody um, once I got going and up to speed. And it's a tough call, isn't it? Because you're going fast group and then you're the slowest and people are, you know, having to do crazy things to get around you. So it's a, I'm in a bit of a funny position at the minute. But look, none of that excuses it. This is not an excuse. Like, at the end of the day, he's entitled to move across and do what he wants to do. Like, it's on me to get past safely. Um, and I didn't. And I'm sorry. I'm, like, really, really sorry. I'm absolutely... Um, uh, I'm pretty upset about it. Um, so, look, I'm... Uh, if you're watching this, I am genuinely, genuinely sorry, and I hope you're okay. Um, all right. Look, thanks very much for watching. I'm going to end this vlog now. A bit of a somber now, unfortunately, but we're going to go back to Donington tomorrow. We're going to have a better day. No crashing. Everyone's going to be cool, and we're going to get in the 140s. So, um, yeah, mate. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you on the next one.